We just spent the night in the hut here, just a really great setting, super cozy place to sit by the fire and drink coffee and uh, have a really good, good mountain experience. Slept great. And now we are setting off for another mountain adventure. Yesterday we were up at the basically sub summits surrounded by all these peaks and glaciers. And now this morning we're actually gonna be going up to the base of one of the glaciers where the glacier has scoured all this granite or rock and exposed this beautiful scoured out rock where there's waterfalls everywhere. Today's adventure should be fun. So the plan is to head back up the uh, Asalkan Valley and then we'll, we'll branch off into the Little Silhouette, following the Little Silhouette River. Oh, yeah. So we'll okay. be able to see all the signs of the glaciation down at the bottom of the slabs and we'll work our way up towards the glacier. Um, the glacier's yeah. receded quite a lot, so the it's exposing receded, all like, this rock that... Exactly, right. You can see the... Well, on this map, like, it can receded quite a bit further than what we can see here. Really crazy how much it's changed. Totally, yeah. If it rains, it might it might get a little bit slick on the yeah. slabs. So it's quite polished by the glacier right. glacier ice, but when it's dry, it's quite grippy and it's quite easy walking. Oh, walking cool. The slab, so. Yeah. Hope the weather holds out today. Yeah. Not, we'll not see. Too bad, but okay. Mountains. Mm -hmm. It changes. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds like a good day. Came across another group coming down off the mountain. So they let us know that just a few minutes ahead, five minutes or so up the trail, they came across a grizzly. And then further up the mountain saw apparently a really huge grizzly. So we've got our eyes peeled, seeing what we might find. I kind of want to see one, but also kind of don't really want to see bears. So I guess we'll see. Gotta stay safe though. Wow. Yeah, that's all right. yeah, it ain't bad. I mean, if you like stuff. <laughs> so these mountains here are, are awesome and all, I guess. But one of the big problems is that everything is super vertical. So it kind of makes you bust your ass to get up any of these trails here. I mean, look, we're trying to get up there, roughly-ish. It's basically like a mile away in distance and like three miles away in vert. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's no easy doing things here. Come on, Canada. So where we are right now, we're seeing basically the base of some of these glaciers. This yeah. used to be maybe, or I don't know, are we standing where the totally. glacier used to come down? We, we're, uh, if we were here uh, just over how many years ago, we were standing on glacier ice right here. Wow. The glacier would have poured down into the valley right, right below us here. Uh, and then now it's you know, two kilometers above us is where the toe of the glacier is today. Far away. It's so two it's, it's quite a ways off the valley. Jeez. Yeah, and That's we can crazy. see the Vox Glacier just coming down with Sir Donald uh, towering above there. it. That's you the see one. the little glacier tribe yeah, coming okay. up there? So that's, that's named, Vox uh, glacier? named after the Vox family and Mary Vox. Yeah. And that used to connect with the Illisiloid Glacier? Yeah, yeah, totally. So basically everything we're looking at here has been shaped by glaciers. It's yeah. kind of, it's hard to understand, I feel like, just... Yeah taking it all in. This is such a big, huge, impressive landscape. Totally, yeah. To yeah. comprehend what, what used to be here and what's here now. Well, that's what's so fascinating. It's such a visual evidence. You can really see the change eh, with the glacier ice. Melting. Yeah. Well, I guess one benefit of the glacier receding is you get to see this amazing waterfall. There's a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of water pumping down yeah, this valley. Yeah, totally. Right. Mm -hmm. We're going to walk up the the slabs here a little ways and hopefully get up to the toe of the glacier okay. up in that direction. Yeah, this looks so impressive in here. Yeah, it's such a cool rock. Yeah. When you think about it, it's been covered by glacier ice for thousands of years too. And this yeah. time it's being exposed. Yeah. 
Ooh. Starting to move a little slower here. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling the altitude. totally obscured the mountain. <laughs> it's gone. This is such a spectacular day. We've got these amazing atmospheric low hanging clouds moving in. It's just starting to rain a little bit. Emily and I are basically just going up this whole, whole time. And just now we can actually start to see what we've been aiming for. It's so spectacular. Sometimes it's hard to take in and comprehend like all the beauty that this world has to offer. This is so different from Arizona where I'm from. So many other landscapes I get to hike. And uh, I'm really just, just trying to drink it all in, enjoy every minute. And man, this is just fantastic. Well, Emily and I just made it up to the base of the glacier. Got a spectacular viewpoint. We have this amazing little spread for our lunch here. And just as we get settled in, the rain starts rolling in, the clouds are moving down the mountain, and uh, everything's totally changing. So we're a little worried about the, uh, the rocks getting slippery on the way down. So we might not enjoy this beautiful prosciutto and olive tepanyad meal that we have here, and we might just have to get down. It's crazy how fast everything's changing here in the mountains. And it's cold, what happened? I was sweating. Sweating so much on the way up. Whew. Gonna have some more prosciutto. <laughs> Shout out to Shasta, our master chef here on the trail. She's the one who provided figs, tepanyad, prosciutto, basically all the things that I didn't express that I love that I truly love. So thank you. Glad how, did, how did you know? It was women's intuition. Wow. I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you nailed it. So thank you so much. You're very welcome. Boom. Boom. Love it. All right, I think we got to get off the mountain. Oh, but more prosciutto. Looks like we're just kind of getting back out of the cloud a little bit. Yeah, totally. The cloud layer is like right above us. Woo! Let's not do it that way, you did. A bit of a slippery step okay. there. Just hope the snow <laughs> holds up. <laughs> yeah, I would watch. Probably be quite hollow where the water's flowing. Yeah. Even with all, all this rain, everything's just super atmospheric looking. Kind of an adventure getting down. Everything's a little bit slippery. But we're just having to pick our way down slow. And uh, now we're, we're lower than the cloud. It's still coming down with all the rain. There's this really amazing view right here. With all these clouds that are kind of half lifting. So you can see all the mountains lingering back there. This charging waterfall just surging with all this snow melt and now the rain just coming down off the mountain. It's so cool here. So cool. <laughs> 